Hi, my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Dust Crochet. Today I'm going to show you yet another headband tutorial. And if you want to see all my other headbands, then go ahead and check out the playlist on my channel page. So today I want to show you how to crochet this beautiful headband. This is very easy to do and I will show you the whole way from the beginning to the end. So just follow along. Let's begin. Remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you want to be notified. First a little about the materials for the yarn. I've used this mega ball yarn from Hobi. Uh, I will write down in the description how much yarn you will need from this mega ball. You will not be needing the whole thing. Uh, and then I have used a little bit of titanium colored as well for the edge. Then I've used a 4mm crochet hook, some scissors and a tapestry needle. To begin this I start with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn. Take the long end of the yarn behind the loop, grab it from the middle with your hook, and pull. Then, whoops, sorry. Then I chain 100 chains. So yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Keep chaining until you have 100 chains. When you have 100 chains, you will begin working into these chains. You skip the first two chains, move on to the third chain and half double crochet into this. So yarn over and then insert the hook in the third chain. Then yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on the hook Then yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's a half double crochet. Move on to the next stitch, this one. And half double crochet into this. So yarn over. Insert the hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And again in the next one, yarn over, insert the hook in the next chain, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. That's how you half double crochet. Continue with one half double crochet all the way across. You chained up 100 and you skip the first two. So you should have 98 half double crochet when you're all the way across. And then your first row would look like this, just a bit longer than mine. Now we will turn. So you chain two to turn the work. Yarn over and pull through twice. Then we turn. And then we skip the two turning chains and move on to the third stitch. And in this stitch, we will back loop half double crochet. So we already know the half double crochet. And now this is the entire stitch. We will only be working through the back loop of the stitch, which is this part of the stitch. So work a regular half double crochet, but only through the back loop of the stitch. So yarn over. Then insert the hook through the back loop of the stitch. Then yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. And then continue with the next stitch. A back loop half double crochet. So yarn over, insert the hook through the back loop. Yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then continue with one back loop half double crochet all the way across. And then your second row would look like this. Now we chain two and turn the work. So yarn over, pull through twice. And then we just repeat the second row again and again. So you turn the work. Skip your two turning chains and move on to the third stitch and back loop half double crochet into this. So yarn over, insert the hook through the back loop only and half double crochet. So just repeat row two. Just one back loop half double crochet in every stitch. And just repeat this until you think your headband is wide enough. Then when you're satisfied with the width of your headband, I did 12 rows in total and this measures about 10 centimeters for me. Then I will do 
and little edge. So just before I finish the final stitch, I have one stitch left to go. So I begin my half double crochet with yarning over and inserting the hook in the back loop, yarn over and pull through. And then I stop, then I grab the new color yarn, the color I want the edge to be. Um, and then I yarn over with this color and then I pull through. So now I switched color to the next color and then I would want to do a row of single crochet all the way across. So I chain one to turn, then I turn and then I skip my turning chain, move on to the second and single crochet into the stitch. And not only through the back loop, but through the whole stitch. So under both loops, a single crochet. In the next stitch, single crochet. And then I continue with one single crochet all the way across. I just want to do a couple so you can see how it looks. So this is how it's going to look. And on the back side, it's not as pretty. So when you're all the way across, you want to do an edge on the other side as well. So when you are all the way over here, you want to turn it and then begin the same way over here. Just switch the yarn to the white color and then continue on this side. So this will be the front side on both uh, edges. So one single crochet in every stitch on each edge. When you're done with both edges, you're not done with the crocheting part. We will now be sewing it together, so you have the right side facing up, and now you fold your edges into the middle. Then you take a new piece of the brown yarn and thread it on your needle, and then you attach the yarn to the uh, headband, to the back side of the headband. And then you take these edges, and then you fold it like this in the middle so they can grab each other like this. So you push them in between each other and make sure it goes all the way into the middle like this so you don't have any gaps in here. You have to push it all the way in so you have all four layers. Then you take your needle and then you push it through all four layers. And then you sew it together all the way across and all the way back. So just push it through all four layers, all the way back and forth. Then when it's all sewn up, you will now secure the yarn. So weave in the end, just push it through some stitches. And then again, back through the same stitches. That's it. Then we can cut the yarn. And then turn it around. So you have the right side facing out. That's it. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!